गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एंड कल्चर श्रीमती मीनाक्षी लेखी जी डायरेक्टर जनरल सैम एंड टी एम डी आर डी ओ श्री हरी बाबू श्रीवास्तव जी एडिटर ई टी गवर्नमेंट टी राधाकृष्णन जी माई फ्रेंड्स एक्सपर्ट्स ऑन द सब्जेक्ट वेरियस सीनियर ऑफिसर्स फ्रॉम पी एस यू लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम फील वेरी प्रिवलेज टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस वेरी इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइज बाई ई टी वी हैव नंबर ऑफ रीजन्स टू सेलिब्रेट प्रजेंस ऑफ पी एस यू फॉर सेवेंटी ईयर्स इन दिस कंट्री देर आर नंबर ऑफ रीजन्स नंबर ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन वी कैन डू एंड द पी एस यू हैज प्लेड a very key role in the growth of economy apart from creating infrastructure apart from creating employment in this country they have played a very key role in development and growth of this country they have not only created employment and infrastructure but they have also given a lot of supports to smes of this country even today more than 28% of procurement is done by psus through their smes when we talk about the digital strategy 75 for the psus as our honorable prime minister has said this next 10 year is going to happen the tacket and therefore psu must adopt technology as fast as possible and psu must get rid of that very perception notion that psu has to adopt the technology at very slow pace they are made for that they have limitations this government has shown by examples examples are all before us whether it is in the form of the up transactions we are having more than 5 billion transactions per month this is the way government has adopted the technology because of the right intentions right policy in place today e governance has become the part of the life and government has done this in a very meticulous manner approach was from bottom to up which means every person of this country should be included in digital technology from the government perspective when this government can adopt the technology at this faster rate psu has no reasons to say that psus are cannot adopt the technology like private companies can do it there could be two strategy very well defined for the psu one we have to go for the collaborative approach which government is always talking about the collaborative approach we should get rid of that darwin's principle that survival fittest of the survival we always try to compete each other now this is the time where we have to collaborate to each other we have to collaborate psu has to collaborate with the company which is good in technology they have to collaborate with each other this collaboration will create lot of data government is also looking for gati shakti which is collaboration of data from all around the world all around the sectors so one is the collaborative approach which can take psu at the next level second is investment in the technology which is creating a startup ecosystem in this country we have already celebrated everybody must have seen the newspapers that we have already celebrated 100 unicorn in this country but i was reading one media report that says though we have celebrated 100 unicorns but still there are two things which is lacking one is it takes more time to company startup to become the unicorn compared to other parts of the world 
and second is the valuation. And these two, for these two PSU can play a very important role. The reason is, wherever you talk with the startup, problem statement comes from the industry, from the companies, from the PSUs. And we don't give the problem statement to them. This is our duty. This is our duty for the country. That we should give the problem statement to the startup where the startup is incubated at X place, Y place, or their own place. Unless we will give the problem statement to them, it will take time to them to become the unicorn, to get the investment, to get the good valuation. Or this will be so cumulative. Once you give the problem statement to the startup, they will develop some product for you. That product will not only be useful for that very PSU, that will be product will be useful for the whole country. SME can also adopt that very product and that can be exported. So this whole value chain, PSU should feel the responsibility like government has done by implementing the e-governance, by implementing we have the JAM uh, portal, government marketplace. I don't think any country has adopted such a policy where we can have system like government marketplace which has created new records every day. PSU's main role today is transform, transform themselves. Like our Prime Minister says, monetize and modernize. And government has already willing to spend more than 100 trillion in rupees to modernize our public sector units. This number is not small. All PSUs must adopt technology because step to J technology is going at much faster rate what we can think of. They should create a skill in this country. They should create new startup in this country. They support a startup ecosystem in this country. We as a STPI have 20 center for excellence 20 center for entrepreneurship in this country and one of the center for entrepreneurship is Vizag which is supported by one of the PSU. We always getting some sort of problems, some sort of problem statements from the various PSUs. Our EP Bhubaneswar, Electropreneur Power Bhubaneswar is already in working in close collaboration with Steel Authority of India Limited, who is providing problem. And once the problems comes, our experience is this, when the problem statement comes directly from the industry, especially from the PSU, a startup can grow much faster than they create their own solutions. Its acceptability is multiple times more than when the problem statement comes to the industry, comes from the industry. We have 20 center for entrepreneurship in this country, all those are domain specific, like we have for medical electronics. We have at Lucknow, it's called MedTech. For artificial intelligence, we have at Mohali. For motion, for automobiles, we have at Pune, which is motion. We have all, and these all center for entrepreneurship are backed, backed by the industry. We are just providing administrative support to them problem statement is coming from the industry, we have the mentors there. And the PSU, the kind of data PSU have, we used to call this, this data will be the fuel. This data will be fuel for the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, we are hearing since maybe 20 years, when I was doing my BTEC at that time, there was a book on artificial intelligence. But today, there is a talk of town of the artificial intelligence, just because we have the data. Artificial intelligence needs data. They need algorithm. If you are not providing the correct data or less data, which is as bad as correct data, incorrect data, then any algorithm developed through algor artificial intelligence will give the long, wrong results. And the PSU can play a major role in providing the data so that right algorithm can be developed and right technology can be developed. This only 
artificial intelligence, big data have trillions of the revenue, maybe in last three to four years. So therefore, PSU is at the right, this is the right time for PSU to transform themselves, to focus on a startup, to collaborate with the technology-driven organizations for really realizing this Amrit Kal or Atmarbar Bharat. Thank you very much. I wish all the best for the ET for this event. Thank you very much.